Welcome to an exciting matchup. It's Varsity Boys, Casanova Lakers versus the Chittenango Bears. Um, we have just come off of a very exciting six period JV basketball game. Uh, here today with you, I am Sebastian Giebers. And I'm Ben Whiteman. And we will be having a very, very exciting matchup on the line here today. You can see them get, uh, meeting up in the middle right now. Go over the rules a little bit, maybe. Yeah, and to be honest, Sebastian, I think we're going to have a hard time beating the excitement of that JV game that we just saw. Yes, that was that was something else. I, I don't know if I've ever seen a game, varsity JV modified anything like that game. That was... That's, that's something you see on TV. That is, that was something else. Yeah, it was pretty unbelievable. And on paper, this one has some potential for a mismatch. Lakers coming in with a 5-4 and four record, barely over 500. And meanwhile, the Bears are one of the top teams in the league. They were 7-1 and one on Monday, best point differential of any team. And now they're 7-2 and two with a, a bit of an upset in their last game. So Bears fans, you might want to look away when we show this. This is the end of Chittenango's game on Tuesday against CBA. 1.7 seconds left. CBA throws it down and gets this last second layup. And so that's what brings us to the Bears being 7-2. and two. So they're going to be looking to right the ship tonight. And they've got the firepower to do it. Yeah, I don't know. I think that might give the Bears an even bigger advantage what happened last week. Because if I'm a team and I've just come off of a loss like that, I will be coming out with all guns blazing, and I will go through all of my opponents j just to get that win. Yeah, were you, uh, had you seen that video at the time of the JV game? No. I was really hoping when there was one second left with the Lakers, you would have said, well, this will be tough. It's not like no. it's 1.7 or anything. Yeah, I, but. I, I had not seen that video yet, sadly. However, that, that would have been a good moment. And apologies to Bear fans. We kid because we care. <laughs> and also, yes. you guys would be the favorite team tonight. So we'll yes. see how it turns out. Yes. And both teams with plenty to play for. Um, I believe a lot of our viewers at home will be familiar with the Mesh brothers, Alex and Ryan. Uh, both star players for the Bears for the last two years. But before that, they played for Casanova. And this is going to be their first game back since moving away. Yes, and I think that is part of the reason this crowd, as we said last game, is so jam-packed. It is, it is to the brim. It's at capacity right now. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that everyone in the building wants this game. Bears yes. players, Lakers players, yes. Lakers crowd. Yes. Should I zoom in? So about 40 seconds left till game time, and then we'll have the national anthem and intros, and then we'll get into the action. Stay with us.
Okay. Now, who is ready some, for some and varsity and basketball team. action? For the visiting Chicago Bears, number zero, Tyrus Kelly. Bears made it to the state tournament last year, so they won section three, lost in the first round, and realistically, that's the goal for the Bears. They could be competitive at the state level. Yep. Yes, and they're hoping, they're hoping to see something of that sort of team tonight. Tip goes to the Bears. The shot is no good, and it will go past and that was the older of the Mesh brothers, Alex. He would be a senior this year for the Bears. All the way down to the other end, and the Cavs make a stick off. Yeah. That does not pan out for him. That was a nice pass for Burns. Unfortunately, they couldn't finish. Man, this has been right away just a back and forth. Yeah, that layup attempt you saw was from the younger mess brother, Ryan. And An interception by the Bears, and they are off. Oh, another nice pass inside. Boston's got to finish those. Yes, sadly, he couldn't, and this score will say 0 0 after quite a competitive first few minutes here. Yeah, uncharacteristically cold shooting from the meshes, but that will not last. And what Bears you just take the 2 0 lead here. Yeah, what you just saw there was the Bears' other star guard, Tyrus Kelly. Three from Ryan Mesh. I'm glad you know these names, because I certainly don't. Yeah, some of these names you'll learn pretty quick. We'll be saying the last names Mesh and Kelly all night tonight. Yeah. The Mesh brothers really be all over the scoreboard for the Bears. However, the, the Lakers are going to be hoping to put a shot down here. And that is the crowd for you right there. That is... The spirit of this Lakers, Lakers, uh, yeah. Bears out of the timeout. Lakers coming. So it's two nothing. Bears with the lead. It's going to be Junior Isaac Gilbert inbounding. This will go Lakers' way. Can the Lakers get it on the other end right now? Having a little trouble. Yeah. A little bit of a press for the Bears here. And I can kind of understand that. Oh, good pass from Ben Bianco. Lawson denied again on the other end, though. 
Shane Angle coming out a little bit cold, so you don't want the Lakers to settle in. Put on some pressure, try to make them uncomfortable. Yeah, this this has seemed very one-sided. The Bears just have a good night. I think this crowd has gotten the, the Bears a little bit here. That was Brendan Barnard picking up the foul. Gilbert finds Burns. Burns taking it himself this time. And now it is a tie game. Right. And those are going to be the first points for the Lakers. Bears looking to respond to those two points quickly here. But that pass was very, very hard. Oh, unbelievable play by Mesh. It was out of the camera. Take a lead, four to three. That one is Ben Bianco. Ben Bianco, the star point guard for the Lakers. He'll usually get 20 or so points a game, so we'll be calling that name a lot too. Alex Mesh on the other end to answer. Four all. Will this game stay close here? Bianco with a shot. Denied. Bear is doing nicely on defense there, standing tall and getting two points of their own. Another two from Kelly. Kaz having trouble early on getting it out of their zone, similar to the JV game. Another chance for Lawson. And it's a tie game again. And that's an important basket for Tanner Lawson. You can see they've already gone to him three or four times. He's really going to need to step up if Kaz is going to have a chance. Yes, he, he's, he's that guy you want near the rim to take those shots and to get you some points. And the Bears will take three points there to get a 9-6 to six lead. Yeah, talk about stepping up. Tyrus Kelly is on fire to start this game. How many points is that now for him? Five. Um, I want to say seven. Seven, wow. But the Lakers tie it up. Wow, Bianca with the answer. You can really tell how much these teams want to win this game. Shot is missed. Bears putting some pressure on Burns. They've got Gilbert inside, but Bianca's going to take a three. Just unable to hit it. Won't go. Good three. Just hit the rim a little. Alex Mesh with the rebound. She might. Lamp is made and he'll get one free throw here as well. It's 11 to 9. The Bears have the lead here. Yeah, that was Alex Mesh going coast to coast on that one. Now here he'll go the to first the line. Three. The first free. It's, no, it's good. It's 12 to 9. Bears have a lead. And a three point play for Mesh there. Another chance for Lawson. He'll hit it. And it is 12 to 11 now. Sophomore coming up big for the Lakers. Ryan Mesh brings it inside. Good by Ryan Mesh, and he has taken some revenge on his old team here. Yeah, Ryan Mesh was playing JV for Kaz as an eighth grader, and he was unbelievable. Yeah, he really was something else. Him and his brother were both incredible players, and now they're gone away to Chittenango, and we will miss them greatly. As we saw in the crowd earlier, there was, even, there was even a poster I saw that said missing, and then it showed the two Mesh brothers, because that's truly what we feel. Bianco. They get it to Lawson again. Oh, looking for Gilbert. You can't have passes like that going up against these Bears. They know how to play, and they, don't, and they won't let you do that. 
Yeah, that, that was the Bears fifth starter picking off that one. Jack Lampier, a senior forward. Bianca with another quick point. It's only a one point game. This isn't, this isn't horrible right now. Lakers able to keep themselves within it. Oh! It was a beautiful move, just couldn't, just couldn't keep it. Alex Cooper won't go. Lanthier no with another rebound. Ah. Oh, no Great defense by the, by the Lakers. Lakers have really managed to shut battle down. Yeah, this, this, this has been a good game. The Lakers fighting hard for what, for what they think could be a surprise win for Officials talking it over. Giving Coach Bubble an explanation. Quite sure what the holdup is here. They're calling in Burns. Oh no, they're calling in. They're calling in the chaperones. They must have seen something in the crowd they don't like. There's a fan that they are asking to leave. It's mango fan. And he has just. He has just been escorted out. Yeah, so not sure what he said from up here, but... Yeah, but while he was leaving, he made, he made a hand signal. Oh, this is Ryan Mass. She could go all the way. Oh, denied. Good, good stand by the Cavs defense. Bianco. And here's a three. That was Jack Burns on that one. Three, no good. Pass Lakers back on ball. They have an opportunity to take a lead here against the Chittenango Bears. Oh, oh almost. That, that was that was a shot. And that that was freshman Bobby Livingston taking that shot. Yes. There are two two freshmen on this team. It's a rather small Casanova Lakers team. Yeah, I talked to Livingston this morning. He was very confident. He said the Bears were going down. He also said he would crush any bear that tried to dunk. And that is the period. The Lakers have been able to hold it tight here, 16 all. And we will go into the second period with a close game. Yeah, exciting first quarter for the Lakers. Someone forgot to tell them they're the underdogs in this game. been exciting. Uh, both teams getting their opportunities. We've had a lot of crowd excitement and it's been a good game so far.
be white ball coming into the second game. Bianca will start with it. Sebastian, if the Lakers have a weakness, it's that they only go six deep. So you're, you're going to see the starters playing a lot of minutes in this game. So far, they've kept up a quick pace, and we'll see if they can last through the whole match. Yeah, as we go on, that will be a defining point, and that will, I think that will be probably what decides this game. Are, is, are they able to keep up with this Bears team? Battle with another three. Yeah, Tyrus Battle's been the man for the Bears so far tonight. Oh, good pass for Livingston. But he just couldn't make it in, and that would go out. No, he was in. Here's a break for the Bears, and then he'll go straight up to the net and miss. Lakers dragging down. Yanko might shoot here. Nope. Finds Lawson. Lawson Lawson's going to take a long two. No good, and the, the Bears are going to have to uh, come back down the court. Yeah, good effort for Cooper to try to get to that. Mesh is going to take a shot. Won't go. And the Lakers fans like that. Yeah, every miss from the Bears has the crowd pumped up. Yeah. Well, anything that the Bears do wrong has the crowd pumped up. Anything the Lakers do right. Oh, good drive for Bianco. I can barely hear myself talking to this crowd, and we just scored a layup. This is something else. Three. No good. And the Lakers have a chance. Oh, no. We're going to give it away right away. This will be a couple of free throws, it looks like. Yeah, is this, is this Barnard going to the line? No, it's Mesh. His first free throw is good. And it will bring the Bears to a two-point lead. With another one, he could bring them to a three-point lead, which I don't think is what the Bears would hope for in this game, but it's, it's a lead. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's what they want in the game. Yeah, I think that's an indicator of how good the Bears are. Their shooting outside of battle has not been particularly hot, and yet they're not trailing. They lead by three. Yeah, and, and it, show, it shows how strong their defense is and that they can keep up a strong battle. Burns will take it himself, trying to get it out to Cooper. That one was just batted away, and it looks like it would be Lakers ball here. Looks like Battle got a hand on it. Gets it out to Cooper. Burns inside to Lawson. Foul on the floor. And Bianca will take it from there. No good though. And the Bears are going to have balls. That would have been an incredible shot for Bianca if it went in. Mesh driving on the basket. And that's going to be a charge. Bianco. Oh, Bianco gets his own rebound. Yeah, now now battle will back off a little bit. 
Good work by Bianco to escape the double team. Burns gets his own rebound. Trapped in the corner though, gets it out to Bianco. Lawson calling for it, but I think that was Mesh who got a hand on it, knocked it away from Bianco. Timeout? Uh, it looks, yeah, it looks like a timeout. No, that was, was a great block on that spot. Twenty to twenty-five. The Lakers are down by five minutes. This, this game isn't. Is it, it, it's pretty close. It, it, the scoreline may be five points distant, but it's still a pretty, a pretty close game. It is pretty close. Although the Bears varsity team may exceed their JV team's total score. Yes. Yeah. In the first half. Yeah. They have a lot of firepower. They do. I. I could see. I could see the Bears getting little bit away with this game, but at the same time, the Lakers have done a good job keeping it competitive in this first period and a half. Yeah, the Lakers did not come to lay down, or get mauled as it were. That's one thing where you've got to expect. Oh, what a play by Gilbert! And the ball is kept in bounds, and the Lakers produce something for that was Burns with a three. Didn't go. Oh, Ryan Nash with a steal. And hit hard. Nash will go to the line for that one. New player checking into the game for the Bears. Sophomore forward, Jacob Cheek, number 34. Down on the defensive end at the moment. And the second shot is good as well. It's 27 This pass oh. was well played to make it a Lakers ball. Great job by Ben Bianco there. Yeah, Bianco falling out of bounds and manages to knock it off of Nash. It was an excellent player. Bianco finds Gilbert over to Burns. Lawson brings it inside, takes a shot, won't go, but Alex Cooper's there. Cooper dishes it out. Finds Bianco. Oh, Bianco falling down and still gets it to Cooper. Ryan Mesh giving Bianco a hard time. Oh, and that's Barnard coming up with it. Great players by both sides so, uh, so far. Huh? That three just bounces off the rim and it'll be cast ball here. Rebound for Lawson. Oh! Right in the hands of Matt. That's not a play you want to happen against these guys. Every, every mistake is possible in this game. Yeah, unfortunately, Lakers playing well. But to beat this team, they have to play almost perfect. Yes. And this will be a 31 to 20 game. Bears starting to get away a little bit. What was the final score of JV? We were 37-37 after five periods. Yeah. Um, I think after six, it was 40, 41-40 or something. Ooh. Maybe 41 40. All right, all right. So Bears. Yeah, maybe 43. Bears like 12 points away from that in under three minutes. Yeah, this is, this is 
give me one heck of a game. Bianco at the line. This first shot is good. It'll be 31 to 21. 10 point game. Second shot is no good. And the Bears will get ball off of that. Get it out to battle. Over to Mesh. Open three. That is good. This game is now 34 21. Time out tied. Back into action soon here. 234 left. 34-21 the Bears with a strong lead here. Um, and as this game goes on, I have a feeling it might just keep going this way. Yeah, Bears starting to pull away. But we saw the Lakers stick with them in the first quarter, so we know they're capable. Yes, yep. So they could keep this close. Burns inside. Layup won't go. Bears are going to go back down just to score two more points. Oh, Bianco goes all the way. Great job, and the Lakers are fighting their way back into this, or at least trying to. Yeah, Lakers may be behind in the game, but Bianco will get himself onto the highlight reel at least. Yes. Mesh inside, won't go. Looked like he might have taken the three there, but he decided against it, perhaps wisely. Oh, denied by Gilbert. Casanova is going to end And Gilbert's going to get the loose ball. What a fight by Gilbert. And that will go, I believe that's going to go Kaz's way. Yeah, it's Kaz's way, and they got the timeout in. Not sure if it was, I think it was called from the sideline. So, Coach Bubble. Giving Gilbert a break. You yes, see somewhere in the midst of that Casanova pile. And there's a look at the Chittenango crowd. And this view is thanks to our cameraman down there, Nathan Shear. Yeah. Bears fans throwing up some L's. I mean, I guess I get it because they're in the Lakers house. L for, L for Lakers. Yeah. <laughs> Um, hopefully it's not L's for the TV audience, because that's probably mostly Bears fans, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Although, I don't know, not that far a drive from Chittenango. There's a, Bears have some good representation here. And now we're over into the Lakers half. Yeah, you put, you, yeah, you look at our, our stands. And... Yeah, neon night here in Cass. Yes, as you can tell by all those very flashy colors. Was uh, at the Bears last game. It was business casual. It was in interesting to see the fans dressed like that for a <laughs> basketball game. Pass back to Bianco. He's gonna have to try and take it out from his own half of the court. Oh, and he does. Play, yeah. Gilbert and Bianco are working together on that one. Gilbert, three pointer. <laughs> This 
shot is no good. Oh. Gets it back, and the Lakers will be on ball. Pretty good 45 seconds there for Gilbert. Yes. Burns finds Cooper. Back into Burns. And the Lakers have fought their way to an eight point game. At one point it was 13 points, now it's eight. 25 seconds. Shot clock's off. Bears looking for the last shot. Bears moving it around nicely. Ryan. Oh, open three for Mesh. That was dangerous. Lakers got lucky on that one. And nothing will come here, and it will be 28 to 36 going into the end of our second period. So if you're a Lakers fan, Sebastian, down by eight at halftime, do you take it? Feel good about this? I, I, well, I mean, you're not gonna be obviously as happy as you would be if you had, oh, oh, lead, but I would, I would take it. I would, I would think, yeah, we've got, we've got a lead. I mean, we've got, we've got eight points down. It's, we've played, we've played hard. We've fought our way. Um, through this, and we may not win, but hey, it's losses are going to happen, and you're playing a, a really, really great team. Yeah, absolutely. All right, we will take a little bit of a break with the commentary. Uh, we'll throw up some slides with some achievements from uh, other notable news around Cavs, some rosters, and we'll rejoin you in the second half.
Okay, well, we're about one minute away from action. This game is 36 to 28. The Lakers down by eight to the, to the Bears. The Lakers have been keeping this a tight game uh, throughout this game. Uh, the Bears have clearly gotten the advantage on them, but that's to be expected. Uh, so the Lakers... Just want to just want to keep up a good fight throughout the rest of this game. Yeah, Bears points uh, starting to level out. If you could point the camera at that scoreboard over there. So early on, it was Battle getting most of them, but you can see Alex Mesh, number twelve, also has ten. So he's getting his baskets. And for the Lakers, it's mostly Bianco, which was kind of expected. Um, but Jack Burns contributing. 
Tanner Lawson contributing. And they're going to need to stay well-rounded if they're going to pull this out. So the Bears will be starting with ball here. Mesh to throw it in. Nice throw to the outside, a three-pointer, and three-pointer is no good. Lakers get the ball, and they are on a break. Bianco, his shot just bounces off the rim. Gilbert loses the ball, but he is he is fouled in the process, and that gets Lakers' ball. Lakers working the ball, just couldn't make anything of it, and the Bears have a break. Mesh, Mesh goes up for two, and he makes it 38-28. This game is a 10-point lead for the Bears right now. The Lakers are looking to respond, and they might be, no, they can't. The Bears are going to get ball and take it down to the Lakers end. Shot is missed, and the Lawson, Lakers are back on ball. Lawson with the rebound. He's leading the Lakers in rebounds. He'll get about eight per game. That was Bianco just losing the ball there, being double teamed. Ryan Mesh, fast break. And so he'll have a free throw here to go along with those two points that he just earned this game. Mesh. 12 point lead, they can make it 13 here. Both teams starting the second half with the same group that started the game. Both opting to go with a, Bears going with a three guard lineup. Lakers starting with three forwards. Mesh. He's two for two tonight. And now he'll make it three for three. Jack getting around lots of defenders. Getting Mine's it out Lawson. to Lawson. Lawson has two. And that's what the Lakers are going to need if they're going to stay in it. Yep. They need a lot of teamwork too. Because that was a great effort by Burns, and then he was unselfish, and he dished it out to Lawson. Yeah, and points. I don't know if any of the Bears can match Lawson for size. Oh, yeah. When Pierre's close, but... Yes. The, Lawson, Lawson is probably much taller than the rest of them, and that will really help this Lakers team out with points. And Lawson, of course, the younger brother of Lindsey Lawson, who was a star for the Lakers girls team for years. I believe she was a thousand point scorer for Kaz. And there goes Ryan Mesh with that point. And it'll be 43 to 30 going into a timeout. Looks like it was called by the Lakers. Lakers only have two timeouts left. Meanwhile, the Bears with six timeouts left. How do you think that'll affect the game at all? Or do you think the Bears even need it? I, I think it will limit Coach Bubble's options. Um, it's actually one timeout left. But oh, yeah. in a way, you know, the Lakers are playing with house money. They were expected to lose. And so yeah. if the timeout helps you keep it close, why not use it up? Yeah, I, I think that's a, that's a fair analysis. It, yeah, and I don't really think the Bears are going to need too many timeouts. They've got, they've got a bunch of subs. You're winning by 13. Not really sh certain how much you're, you're going to need to use those. Yeah. The biggest risk is probably losing the timeouts as a tactical tool. If you got a guy yes. on the ground yep. or a guy getting trapped, sometimes you can use it to get him out of that yes. jam. Bears winning ball back in the Lakers zone. Dangerous for the Lakers, but the Lakers play around with it, get it out of bounds, and it will be, it looks like Bears ball here. Yeah, crowd not happy with that call. It looked like it might have been out on the Lakers. I, can, I, I feel like I can agree with that call. Pass to the top of the key. 
driving in and just couldn't get anything on that one. Oh, travel on Gilbert. Looking very confused after that one. I don't think he understood what happened there. Bears with ball. Five minutes left in third period. Here's the three and it's no good. Pass inside. Bears trying to work it, work it around to the net. Yeah, Lawson sticking close on battle. That's gonna be a reach in on Lawson. Kaz getting a little, a little angry at the refs here the past couple minutes. But to me, it's looked like the refs have gotten most of these calls right. Yeah, I mean, I think if it's who's going to be less biased, the refs or the crowd, you yeah. have to assume it's the refs. Yeah. This, yeah. And those, those did both look like legitimate calls. Yeah. The, the refs have been very, very, very well composed today. Yeah, we, we saw with the ejection of the fan yes. early on, yep. the refs will not accept nonsense yep. from the crowd. They're not, they're not taking it today, so, yeah. Understanding there's a lot of emotion, not willing to let things get out of control. Yep. And to their credit, I think both teams have played a, a good, clean, sportsmanlike yes. game. We saw a game last year between the Lakers and Skinny Atlas, and that one just got nasty at the end. And so far, we've managed to avoid that tonight. Yeah, it's been, it's been a clean, cleaner game. Not, not much fouls. Actually, a total of three fouls tonight. And this is the third period, so yeah. Another three for battle. And you know, maybe it helps that, like, certainly the Lakers and the Mesh Brothers are competitive on the floor, but in real life, they're friends. Like, these are kids that yes. grew up together, and so, yeah. you know, the bitterness and the animosity can only go so deep. Yeah, you, yeah. Bears with a little bit of a press there. Maybe, maybe cognizant that the Lakers don't have a lot of timeouts to work with. Yeah, just one timeout left. Finds Boston down low. Bianco, he might shoot. Oh, what a three. What a three. And it is now a 13-point game. Ben Bianco making this game a lot closer. Or what feels a lot closer. Lawson coming up with the loose ball. Good defense there by Kaz. Bianco finds Gilbert. Now with these opportunities, they need a score. Oh, that's going to be a long three. Two in a row, wow. Ben Bianco doing everything he can to keep the Lakers in this game. Yes. Oh, not a good pass that time, though. However, it will go Kaz, Kaz's way. Maybe an opportunity to make this under a double-digit lead. Yeah. Who would have thought that a, a couple seconds ago? Bears up 16 points, looking like they have the momentum, and then all of a sudden, Ben Bianco comes marching in. True. Although it speaks to the abilities of the Bears that we consider getting yes. it within 10 yeah. to be momentum. Yeah. Oh, he almost had another one. Lawson with the rebound, though. They're going to send it right back to Bianco. Close. Just trying those threes, and I mean... Oh, when... chance for Mesh. And he'll get it. He'll nice never play miss that Ryan one. Mesh. That will be a timeout by, by the, the Bears. The Bears, I yeah. hope. Yeah, it looks to be the Bears. They're down to five timeouts. 
Meanwhile, Cavs will be at one. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen a team play the whole fourth quarter without any timeouts. Yeah. I don't know if I have either. It's, that would be tough for Cavs to, to try and get through that. Especially as the fourth quarter is normally when, the, the second and fourth quarter are normally when you use the majority of your timeouts. Yeah. You're just trying to make it an even game. But. Well, we're in the replay. Here's another look at that fast break from Ryan Mesh. So it's only a 12-point game. The Lakers have shortened it uh, since since it was si they were 16 down. So this game this game may not be super tight, but the Lakers are still fighting. They're still they're still putting their effort in. Yeah, I don't know if this one's going to make the best of Cast Sports playlist. Yeah, no. Maybe we'll do some creative editing. Um, we'll Photoshop the one on the scoreboard into a four and just yes. pretend that first quarter was the whole game. Good drive by Burns. Yeah, we've seen him do that a couple times tonight. Just driving in, getting his layups. And we also saw him take a couple threes. Very yeah. versatile player. He'll be missed next year. Bianco taking it in, cutting out. Boston finds Burns. No, is that Cooper? It is Burns. Burns out to Bianco. Bianco. Stripped. Bianco down on the other side after missing that one. And the Bears will get two points there. Ryan Mesh over to battle. And Lawson is fouled. Ooh. Oh, Alex Mesh was close to knocking the ball away. Just got a little bit of Boston's body. Yeah. yeah. Here's Bobby Livingston to take to take this uh, throne. It will go out to Jack Burns, but too far. And the Lakers will have to retreat. Yeah, wow. That was like Burns hustling like a hockey player trying to get the icing call. Almost went out the back. And there's Mesh again. That was impressive. Yeah, with a, with a guy like that, you can't let him be behind the defense. Bear is getting on top by 15 now. Lakers with 36 seconds to just make this a little closer, maybe. Yeah, shot clock is off. Lakers could hold it for the last shot. And there's two points for the Lakers. It'll be a 13-point game. Probably the wiser choice. You're the team that's down by 15. You probably don't want to be killing the clock. Yeah. Bears, on the other hand, happy to dribble this one out if the Lakers will let them. Battle the takes a shot. Oh, in and out. Mesh is right there to clean it up, and again. And that will lead us to a third, peer, third quarter end. 57 to 42, the Bears are up. That was some sequence by Alex Mesh to close that out. Yes. Good, tough basketball there. Few highlights from that third quarter. This will be the we'll call this the mesh reel. <laughs> Fast break by Ryan Mesh. And there have been a lot of those recently. And then Oh that shot from Cooper. Alright, so not quite the mesh reel, but check this out. Battle's gonna miss this three. And then Alex Mesh gets it, puts it back, misses it, gets his own rebound, puts it back. That's some impressive stuff right Yeah, that's there. quite the end of the third quarter. And that just shows you what this Bears team really is. And remember, this is all coming from two Casanova commentators, so. Yeah, 
And I'll, a... I'll be curious to see how far they go. They, I mean, they're not undefeated. They lost against CBA. Yep. Uh, I can't remember who their other loss to. Someone told me earlier. Might have been Marcellus. But, you know, for the Bears, in a way, this is their year. Yep. Ryan Mesh is a sophomore. He'll be here for another couple. Uh, but Alex, Alex Mesh, Mesh Tyrus Battle, both seniors. Yeah. So, doors wide open. A few more L's for Lakers from the Bears crowd. Thank them for their support. Very kind. Okay, so we're entering the fourth quarter, thrown by Bobby Livingston for the Lakers. Here comes Bianco. And as you can tell, you haven't seen a lot of names on this Casanova team. It's all been the same. It's been Bianco, it's been Cooper, it's been Burns. And that's because this, this Casanova team is just so small that, that they really don't have very many players. Yeah, if you, these teams, uh, the girls are playing each other tomorrow at Chittenango. If you catch that game, you'll see different dynamic for the Lakers, at least. Um, our girls team will use their whole bench. Here with the guys, it's really the top six yep. getting most of the minutes. Yeah. I haven't seen very, like, the, the people that are out there right now are the, really the only ones you see, except for Livingston is in for uh, Isaac Gilbert, so. So that's, those are really the only names you'll see, though. Yeah, and that's kind of, you know, Lakers starting five is a, a bigger lineup. Two guards, three forwards, and Lawson's almost like a center in some ways. And then when they want to go smaller, they'll bring in Livingston. Yep. But then you look at this Bears team, and they've got a, they've got a bench. I mean, they still keep in their stars most of the time, but... Yeah, Bears another team that's going to lean on their starting five. Yeah. But when you have a trio like Battle and the Mesh Brothers, yeah. I mean, if I was a coach, I'd have a hard time resisting the temptation yes. to ride that starting group. Yeah. So it's still 57-42. Here's Battle three. with another three. That one couldn't quite sweep in. Another Ooh. rebound for Lawson on the back end. Three. And that's Ben Bianco once again. That's three three-pointers today, correct? Might be more. He had 14 points at the half. He's had, he's had one heck of, heck, of, heck of a game. Livingston. Hmm. They'd be fortunate for Livingston getting that call there because he was double teamed and yeah. if the Bears hadn't bumped him, he might have been trapped on the sideline. Here's the pass to the outside. That was a nice pass for Bianco. Pass out to Bianco, wide open three, and it's no good. Oh, here is the quick turn. Oh, Mesh corrals it. Wow, and gets it over to Barnard. With the man diving at his feet, he's able to keep his balance and run down and get that point. Oh, quick turnover. Eliou. Alex Mesh. Oh, and this game has reached 20 points. Yeah, and... I was gonna say, like, it's too bad the Lakers don't have timeouts because this is when you call one and this, well, might, this might be it. Yeah, he might have decided this is the yeah, time to use the, it is, yep. the last one. And that was the Lakers, the, their final out. timeout. Six minutes, eight seconds left. You're down 20 points. What do you do? do you, you know you're not gonna win this. What do you, what do, you do? Do you, send in your, do you send in your backups and get them some playing time or do you, what, what do you do? I think you continue to ride the starters. Try to keep it close, and the experience that they can get against a good team is valuable. Yep. Um, we saw at the beginning, Lakers only five and four. Uh, so um, anything that can 
like get the team experience and bring it together and push them, I think will be helpful. So I think that's what we'll see from Coach Bubble. Yeah, and any motivation they could possibly get out of this game, the points that they might make towards the end of this game, that could help too. Yeah, and certainly the crowd is still in it. Yeah. So still, like, as long as there's potential for another highlight real play, um, you know, I, th I think the crowd can be satisfied with things like that at this point. Yeah. So, 20 point game, six minutes, eight seconds left. Lakers with, with no timeouts left, Bears with five. Yeah, and you know, I think ironically the motivation for Chittenango is largely the same. Please the crowd, get some highlight plays, yep. don't get anybody hurt. Yeah. Get out of the game and yeah. keep so marching. That might be their game. Marching towards sectionals. Yeah. Yeah, just bend, like, bench your starters, get them some breather. I don't, I don't think they will yet. Not with, well, yeah. not with this much yes. time. They don't want to, they don't want to give the Lakers a prayer of getting back in. Yeah. But yeah, when, under, under a minute, minute and a half, I think we'll see, we'll see some new numbers. And depending on call. the score, I could even see it happening. Three minutes. Like if, if the Bears keep scoring like they have been, if they keep upping the score, I could see it being around three, two, three minutes that they start making these changes. Yeah, we'll see. We should make a bet. As Lawson goes to the line. I don't, I don't know what we have to wager. Yeah, I don't either. Oh, starting on the academic decathlon. Nerd. <laughs> for, for viewers unfamiliar, uh, both of us are also with the Casanova academic decathlon team. Yes. We like to study and take tests. We're, we're showing off our nerdiness here. And I think that's going to be a travel called on Cooper. That's one of those situations where if they'd had time out left, maybe they could have gotten him out of it, but on the ground, not much you can do. Bear is just going to keep ball. I think they're going to try and just take down the clock a little bit here. Oh! Good play from Cooper to deny that shot for Mesh. Burns almost losing it, but he's able to keep it. Yeah, Bianco. Some, somehow gets to Bianco. Lawson inside. Owen battles off to the races. Alley oop attempt, but denied by Gilbert that time. There's the pass to Bianco. Bianco with a nice pass to Lawson. Lawson has to pass it over to Gilbert. Gilbert, three, no good. Oh, almost a re... Oh, Lawson tips it to Cooper. Bianco. Bianco. No good. It will be Casball here. Incredible how it's always the defense that seems to tap it out of bounds. Yeah. Yep. And here's a break. Oh, Mesh. another one for Mesh. Oh, he misses it, though. And the Kaz crowd goes wild, and then, and then our hush there's the, there's the other Mesh. Or was that Barnard? I think it was Barnard. Oh, I tell you, it's hard to tell the difference between 12 and 22 on these <laughs> monitors. Yeah. Ruin the choke. You can stop one Mesh, but you can stop two. So it's a 20-point game after the Lakers come back down and score two. But the Lakers oh. will get it right back, hoping to make it 18 That's so. the that second time Cooper's managed to get a hand on the ball while Mesh had it. Oh. What a move by Mesh. Foul on the floor. Called on Burns. Gil oh, that was on Burns. Going for Lampier on that one. Lawson and Gilbert were right there. Yeah. 
Fast break chance for Mash. Finds yeah. battle. 22 point lead for the Bears. Bianco three. It's good. The Lakers bring themselves within 20. So it's less than 20. Hit that milestone. Coming up on three minutes. Let's see if you were right about the sub, Sebastian. Oh! oh looks like I'm, I may have been a little bit off. Mash. Back to a 22 point lead for the Bears. Here's the shot, no good. And the Bears are back on ball. Bears getting ready to have some substitutions. <laughs> oh, it, is it coming? Oh yeah, here they come. And here is the substitutions. They are going to sub off their entire starting their entire lineup here. All right, so you're going to win this bet, Sebastian. I think I, I, I think I officially am going to start now. <laughs> I believe that was the bet we made. I'm just saying. And I've got witnesses too. And how many? There's 150 viewers on this video right now. How many? 150. Seriously? Yes. Well, then that's quite a few uh, witnesses. <laughs> it is a lot of witnesses. Let's go, Sosa! So we'll get you the names of the new Chitin Angle lineup as we can. We have Drew Thomas, Holden Taylor, Landon Martin, Hunter Taylor and Emerson Brewster. So, Taylor Brothers replacing the Mesh Brothers. This will be Cooper shooting free throws. One and one, so Bears get it back. The Bears <laughs> working it around the edge. We do have some new faces for Kaz. Seniors Joey Reitmeyer, 24. Jacob Chalon, number 15 in the game, as is Owen Woodworth. Double zero, a sophomore. Good stop by the Bears. So now it's just B team versus B team right now. So this is, this is get your high light reel in because you don't know when your next minutes are going to come. Yeah. So we've got a minute 34 left. This is a 22 point game. And now Cooper checking out. Freshman Edmund Richardson is into the game. And now I think everybody on the sideline has gotten a chance to play now for the Lakers. Oh, and there's Richardson just into the game. Find Shala. Shot won't go. Couldn't make anything of it, and the Bears are going to be off here. Richardson with some good defense. Three pointer, no good. Couldn't get the shot off. Oh! And that will be it's white going ball. To Cass. Wow. Wow. I think that might have been Bears there. Yeah, I, I thought Shala touched it, but. Yeah. Here comes Livingston. Woodworth setting a pick for him. And that's going to be a foul on the Bears. 43 seconds. Lakers just trying to get some points in here. Bears have nine fouls. That's going to put Richardson on the line. Oh, yeah, we're on bonus now. I didn't even know, realize that. His first shot is no, his shot is no good and the Bears will have ball.
30 seconds. Three pointer, no good. Right Meyer, out to Livingston. Shot clock's off, 15 seconds. Richardson Livingston. With a, Livingston with a three. No good, and the Bears will just take it down. No good, and this is just gonna. Oh. And that will be game. No buzzer beater tonight. The Bears 72 to the Lakers 50. So, yeah, congrats to Chittenango. Yep. Good team. I, uh, I don't think these teams will see each other again, so we wish the Bears good luck yep. with the rest of their season and sectionals, unless they play Cavs, of course, in which case they can go hibernate. <laughs> um, hey, tomorrow at Chittenango, it's the girls' teams for the Lakers and the Bears. So catch that game over on Chittenango's YouTube channel, Bear Den Video. Look it up. I think it'll be pretty easy to find. Game starts at 7, I believe, with JV to precede it. Uh, so Friday evening, if you're looking for more basketball, head over to Bear Den Video. And of course, we'll have games for you every week with the Lakers here on this channel. Tomorrow, our next stream will be the Shakespeare competition, if you're looking for uh, something a little different in your stream. And then next Tuesday, we hope to see the boys right back here taking on Salve. So thanks for joining us. Uh, hope you have a great night.